the parliament budget is increasing from 831 billion shillings this financial year to 915 billion in the coming financial year budget. Of the 915 billion shillings, 193 billion has been set aside as an increase in the allowances of members of parliament. Part of this increment will cater for fuel allowances, increasing from 3,500 shillings to 5,000 shillings per litre. Despite the public backlash, the opposition supports the increment. The lead of opposition, Matthias Simpuga, says due to budget cuts in this financial year, parliamentary committees fail to undertake their oversight roles. I'll give you an example. Park Central for three quarters had 37 million. 37 million for Park Central for three quarters. They were given an extra, just a little extra in this last quarter at almost the last hour. That, that's why so many members are away because in the last quarter some little extra money was released to Parliament to go and do oversight. To Mpuga, the parliamentary budget is statutory and questions should be on the accountability of the money allocated and not how much. The government budget, recurrent expenditure and development is growing. There's no way you can grow expenditure while limiting oversight. That will be suicide of the public. The question that the public should be asking subsequently is whether eventually these funds were properly channeled to the use for which Parliament really critically needs them. The opposition has also been in the spotlight over the alleged 40 million shillings shared by each MP despite the tough economic times. However, Mpuga also maintained the opposition's stand on refunding the 40 million shillings in extra allowances provided recently. I have met my members twice and informed them of the party position as the custodian of the party discipline in the House on where we stand on this subject matter. And uh, where I am unable to, to get somebody or check their pockets and find their money, I can only rely on their self-discipline to either openly disclose and declare and therefore undertake to return the said money. On the ongoing teachers' strike, a salary harmonization committee is urgently needed to address the situation. This proposal has been in the air. At one time, there was a commitment by government to put up this commission, because it's not upon us to put up this commission. It's upon government. It's upon cabinet. It's upon Genome 7 to put up this salaries commission. The lead of opposition's comments came as he gave accountability on their performance in the first session of the 11th parliament. Through motions, bills, budget appropriation and oversight, especially through committees, the opposition is satisfied of the work they have done in one year. Habad Ziwa, NTV at Parliament.